What's going on today, guys? Today I'm going to be showing you my favorite production. This is my male. His name is Nonami. He's a Hypo Zero Dunner Genetic Stripe. Let's go back to the beginning. This is his father, Riley. He's a genetic stripe dunner. 100% had trans, hypo, N0. That was his father, an import from Germany. And this here is his mother. Her name is Candy. She's a translucent. Hit hypo at zero. And I put them together to make visual zeros, which carry translucent trait, hypo trait, and genetic trait. I'm gonna go back to the video here of them actually being paired up. I have to go to my YouTube channel here and Go to my old videos. Just bear with me while I scroll down. I'm usually on YouTube on my phone, so it's taking me a member a minute to remember how to navigate. So yeah, let me scroll down here. get to this video and again uh, my goal was to make zeros and I know they would carry the hypo and trans trait for sure and I wanted to see how the genetic stripe uh, would affect it if at all Should be getting close to it now. See a couple of babies from around that same time period. Should be right around here. And a lot of videos. I think I have over 200, there it is. I think I have over 200 videos right now. But this was the parent and created my my favorite production so far. You can see she's ready. Her tail is already lifting. As soon as he bit the neck, she started arching her tail for him to be able to slide underneath. Riley also had the cat eyes like his grandchildren have now. I'll post a picture right here of his eyes when he was younger. He also had more color when he was younger too. Uh, it looked like he was gonna be red. I'll post a picture.
Okay, let's get back to Nonami. And we tell me a little bit more about him. Of course, because he's zero, you can't see the genetic stripe on him. But he did produce um, genetic stripe babies. The dragon that I gave away to my friend was one of his sons. And the, the Dunner genetic stripe head zero is his daughter. So, as of right now, this is my favorite production. He has the most genes of any dragon that I produced. Uh, again, he's a hypo. The female trying to get to him now. He probably run off this bark in a few seconds because she's enticing him. But uh, but yeah, he's a hypo, zero, dunner, genetic stripe, head trans. He has uh, some trans patching on his back. He had it since he was a baby. Um, he has almost solid black eyes. He's overall a very nice boy. Pretty good size on him. He's a big boy. He's a little over a year, probably like 15 months now. He produced some pretty nice stripes. I think I'm gonna breed him to a like a red female in the future. I just have to make a purchase of a nice female for color. His eyes are not completely back, but they're pretty close. You can see the dunner, dunner on his tail, the barren pattern on the tail. The trans patching, yeah, the clear nails. I produce him from two import parents. Uh, got rid of the parents once I had him. I didn't need him anymore as far as breeding. He was everything that I needed at the time. But he'll be staying with me forever. He's trying to go get the girl now. <laughs> His beard might turn black in a second because you see her. But I just want to show you guys my favorite production. I'm going to see if I can uh, find a clip of when he was younger with his siblings. He did have another sibling that was uh, very similar to him. I sold. That's my boy right there on the left. The one far to the right was sold and the two in the middle. Uh, both of the um, trans markings on the way on. A while ago, um, when they were about six weeks old, I'm trying to go get the female. And I had uh, two others with patching as well. Those patchings went away, but him and his brother kept the patching every. every it um, decreased a little bit with, with age, but it's still there. When he's in a real good mood, when he's real light, you can see it very good. But yeah, that's my boy Nonami. Hope you guys had all the clues. You can go ahead and comment down below. Again, the top 10. The first 10 who um, commented the correct um, puzzle completed. We'll go into a drawing. I'll do the details on the drawing tomorrow. I'm going to do a live video. I know that. But when a live video is going to be is... Now he's going to run off. He's going to breathe the... He's going to breathe the stick. <laughs> See what he did, I'm gonna move 
Well, yeah, I, I'll do the uh, details on the drawing on Sunday after I, I, I announce the top 10, top 10 names. I'm going to need you guys' real names as well. Or I, I could just do it at the um, with the YouTube names. And then what, if, if your YouTube name is called, you're going to have to message me um, either on Facebook or Instagram, your real name. So we can get the details situated. The dragon will be uh, shipped out after the 5th of um, this month. When he's um, a little bit past 6 weeks old. He's going to go get her now. <laughs> Alright guys, put him back in his cage, not to stress him out anymore. You guys have a good one, and be sure to comment down below the completed puzzle. A lot of you knew it uh, yesterday and wanted to comment, but today was the deal, so we're gonna, you're gonna need to be in the top 10 on the video. And then Sunday, again, I'll go over the, uh, more details as far as the drawing. Have a good one.